All right, people, let's talk real quick about discerning the times. I know you know it's Libra season, but there are some things that we need to discern because when we're talking about constellations, aka the Mazareth, we use the Mazareth to discern the times. And so God brought some things to my remembrance about the time that we are in. And you can see that here. I'd come across some stuff on TikTok or videos just showing about the hurricane that's in Florida. And then also we know that they have the, the um, strike that's coming up for the ports, okay? And that's when God was like, hey, hey, let's, let's go back into our notes and see what were we talking about in May, okay? What were we talking about in May? And that's exactly what we were talking about. This is a time of fasting, okay? So you can do your own personal fast. Um, I'm not the one to tell someone how to fast or what fast they should do, but God did tell me to proclaim and assemble a fast, all right? So whether you want to do three days dry fast, whether you want to do three days intermittent, whether you want to do, um, you know, a liquid fast, uh, juicing fast, whatever the case may be, God is calling us to fast, okay? And I would recommend, like I said, I'm not the one to tell you and or to dictate what you do. This is just a su suggestion, but I would say fast for the next three days. Read Joel 2, okay? Read Joel 2 because God is talking about overflow, all right? He is talking about overflow, and last but not least, okay, because we've been fasting for some time. And by we, I mean the children of God, okay? The sons of God have been fasting for some time. And we have been telling people to fast for some time. So the thing about fasting is that it is a skill, okay? It's a practice. It's something that you get used to over time. And the times that we're going into, of course, you're talking about strikes at the ports. This is where trade, commerce, um, and the economy will be affected. So if you are not used to fasting, there are going to be some people who may be forcibly fasting, okay? Um, and so this could be new for you, right? And you're not prepared for it. Your body is not prepared for it. Okay, because God will not be mocked. And I'm just saying that God will not be mocked. There were a lot of people who may have found humor in people fasting and or like, oh, I would never do that. You know what I'm saying? And I just want you to know that God prepares his people. So never think that you are fasting in vain. And all this time, if you've not been seeing the promises of God, if you've not been seeing God work in your life or move in your life, this is that time. You have literally been being prepared for your blessing. And it's on the other side of this fast. We know as a people, we fast to break strongholds. Okay, we fast to break limiting beliefs and also to activate the right side of our brain. Okay, <laughs> to activate, activate the right side of our brain where many of us do we never go there okay we never go there we are only operating out of the left side of our brains this is why familiar spirits are able to overtake us and to keep us stuck in cycles because we never and awaken the right side of our brain jesus says he sits on the right hand side of god okay so we never awaken the right side of our brain and allow jesus the light to enter into those unknown pathways, okay, neural pathways, we don't allow that, all right? So that's another reason why the impossible never happens for us because we stay stuck in the realm and the pathway of familiarity. God is saying, I need you to step on the right side. So in our prayer, again, we are asking God to illuminate our path while we take territory in the right side of our brain that all things that god has called for us may be possible 
okay that all those things may come into fruition and we are claiming our inheritance and like i said i would definitely recommend reading joel 2 during these three days and allowing the lord god to lead you into all truth allowing the holy spirit to lead you into all truth okay so praise worship and read your bible these next three days because there are some crazy wars that are they they're happening now okay and we're gearing up for the takedown of those wars and or say the battle for that war now this is where the army of god stands up because god has already went before us okay toodles